Hi everybody, and welcome back to BIM Hive. In today's episode, we're going to be following up from deleting all of our unused view templates. Now, a common issue that we tend to have inside the AC industry when we go to export models is wanting again just to hit that clean model state and reducing the file size as much as we can. And an issue that I also find within my everyday organization is that we can have up to 150 filters which are just not needed anymore inside of our project. And these tend to become cluttered, they become annoying, and they become a pain in the ass to be honest, just to have to go through and just figure out which ones we're actually using and which ones we aren't, and what the purpose of them all are. Now, here's the thing. Filters should always be assigned through a view template, and a view template should always be applied to every single view you create, whether it be a documentation view, a sketch view, or even just a working view. And I don't like the argument saying we don't need a view template, but we want to apply the filter to the view because it becomes cluttered and you're not sure if you want to get rid of it or not. And then you might accidentally get rid of it. And then it turns out that a lot of work has just gone down the drain. So today's example will be following up from the episode before. And as you can see over here, we don't have any more view templates like we did in the time before. But what we still do have are all these unnecessary filters, whether it be IFC imports, sketch elevations, clash views, or even filtering out families within the import category. Now, one thing I would like to make clear to everybody here is that filters aren't bad, but they can become excessive. And everybody can think, I need a filter for this view, I need a filter for this view. And once again, it will be up to 125 filters. So what we're going to do today is a very, very basic node. It is straight out of the box and anyone in your office can use it. So we're just going to go to Dynamo and we're going to open up today's node called Delete All Unused Filters. Now isn't this the simplest node I have ever done? And I think for a Monday it's a pretty good node to put out as well. So all we need to do in this situation is just make sure that our boolean toggle is set to true and just press run. This node right here is so good because there's anybody can pick it up. Anybody can use it. And you don't have to be a genius. Just open it up and just give it a run. This is the perfect one to give to your intern. So, if we just go and click run, and just let us do its thing, and we'll just go down over here, and six filters were deleted. Now, let's just make sure that they're actually gone. And voila, we have all of the filters that we've wanted to keep. Now, isn't that an amazing time saver? Well, in actuality, if we just went back for two seconds, we could have gone and manually deleted all of them. Now imagine if you had to go through 150 few filters and manually delete all of them every single week with your model exports, or you could just use this basic script. Hope you had a great lesson today. It's a short one, but a sweet one. And I hope to hear from you soon.